Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing about how to draw CMOS inverter layout using Cadence Virtue So, so first of all, you have to draft the schematic as per the circuit diagram of CMOS inverter. PMOS kept up and NMOS kept down. So, uh, you have to ensure proper wiring is done. Once you are done with it, you have to extend the uh, pins of the uh, uh, NMOS and PMOS so that it will be easy to place the pins. And after that, you have to click on PMOS and press Q. So you have to make sure that the width of the PMOS is double that of NMOS so that you don't get any errors in layout. And once you are done with it, you have to press P. If you press P, uh, you'll end up getting a dialog box saying create pins. So there uh, you can use space to separate two pins. So I'm using VDD space uh, VIN space vss because all of them are input i want to take all the three at a time so first i'm keeping vdd you can press r to rotate and then you have to place uh, v in and then vss after vss again click p so now you have to change the mode to output and uh, keep v out so once you are done with it you have to check and save to ensure no errors are there now you can go to layout excel and uh, just cl uh, click on ok go on click on ok don't uh, change anything so you can see a layout window open beside so you have to go to generate from all sources click on ok and you have to check all the pins and click on ok again so you will get a window like this if you press shift f you will get a uh, inside view press on pmos and click on q change the body type to integrated do the same with uh, nmos as well and click on ok so once you are done with it you, you have to go to place and pin placement not metal sorry uh, you have to go to place and then pin placement you have to choose vdd h rail uh, keep it as top and h rail apply and again apply so again ground uh, keep it as bottom apply and press on h rail and again apply so once you are done with it you have to just press uh, uh, P you will get a metal so you can connect there you can connect uh, VSS to ground and once you're done with it you can uh, connect two V out pins and two polys as well now when you are connecting this uh, V in pin uh, you need a wire so press space and click on poly place the wire and then go to connect to poly and from V out you can directly connect that pin so click go come down and just connect to the V out now you are done with the uh, this thing and click on save go to uh, run uh, sorry asura and you have to select the asura technology live you go on keeping keep on pressing the two back dots until you get install and foundry analog library and asura technology library okay now click on okay again after that uh, you can go to uh, run drc and in run drc you have to change the technology library to gpdk45 and click on ok and click on yes if there is an existing it will overwrite it it will check for any drc errors so no drc errors phones close it close so go to again uh, asura run L lvs layout versus schematic here also you have to make sure that the technology node is gpdk45 and uh, don't change anything click on ok uh, yes overwrite uh, wait uh, okay yes overwrite it so wait until the layout, layout and schematic are checked and once it is done it will show you a schematic page see you can see that uh, the, the layout and schematic are matched once you click on ok yeah now you'll get a schematic so showing that uh, layout versus schematic is a match and once you're done with it again go to asura you have to click on run Qantas run Qantas here uh, you have to go to uh, input you have to change it to rcx typical yeah rcx typical and rc extraction type and uh, after that you have to go to parameters you have to change uh, and uh, here you have to keep it keep it as coupled capacitor and reference known as ground exclamatory and then you have to go to uh, this out para output parameters and uh, include capacitor and resistor as command and after that uh, you can check everything is perfectly all right and then click on ok yeah click on ok yes so it will uh, run for a while to 
make sure that uh, it will generate a extracted file that is rc extracted file to show the parasitics so it is generated close it so now you you will be able to see the rc extracted file in the specified directory uh, you have to go to the virtuoso window and uh, log file yeah log file there you can go to file new open and then you can select your library and in your library now it will show uh, under the uh, whatever the project you are doing under the cell view it will show uh, three folders uh, one will be rc extracted view so you can see there is a file known as rc extracted wait uh, we have to select our library first and then click on browse there you can see there we have an rc extracted view if you click on it you'll open rc extracted view 